United States will go out and do whatever it takes within the gambit of reality to pick somebody up. It's a moral obligation. If I was in that fighter pilot shoes, I would expect or hope that someone would come and pick me up on my worst day. Combat Search and Rescue Combined Test Force. It's composed of two units, 413th FLTS. DET-1, so the FLTS, they're largely focused on DT. They have their, their air crew, and then they also have their analysis uh, section. So the guys actually developing the test plans, uh, the air crew fly them, and then the analysis uh, division captures the reports and uh, sends those up. On the operational test side, we actually possess the aircraft. So we have uh, four total divisions. We have the H-60 division, we have the Guardian Angel division, the Isolated Personnel division, and then our Analysis division. So kind of the same thing. But since we possess the aircraft and the people, we have kind of those broader divisions. And then we're also looking after those three different mission sets of the helicopter, the guardian angels, and the isolated personnel. So most of our tasks that we are testing focus on getting after um, like IP or isolated personnel recovery. Also um, innovative new tactics, techniques, and procedures uh, for guardian angel and pararescue personnel in ACC and in NAVSOC. The relationship between the 60s and guardian angel and pararescue, um, I think will remain uh, very strong in the future as well um, because our focus is rescue. And so although we do have other uh, pararescue men in AFSOC and other entities, when we focus on rescue together, we're able to get to isolated personnel more effectively and affect those recoveries. Every air crew member, once they get to the test squadron, has to go through either a test upgrade of some sort or we actually have pilots and our FTEs, our flight test engineers that go through uh, test pilot school. Kind of a good analogy is the the Pavehawk was a you know a 1980s Ford pickup. Well now we got a 2022 Ford pickup, right? So it's still a Ford pickup. It still kind of does the same thing. In a lot of ways, the range, speed, a lot of that's very similar. But what this brings to the fight is modernized avionics. With the Whiskey, we've got the upgraded avionics suite. That alone is uh, incredible. You know, you get a more modern helicopter to fight a more modern war. Uh, so it's definitely more suitable. We have advanced defensive systems, which allow us to accept more risk and allow us to mitigate more threats in that environment. So the contested environment is something that we train to all the time and having the capability of a flight director as well. So we're talking long soar iterations that could help mitigate pilot workload, uh, things of that nature. Increased power performance in terms of we've got the wide cord blades on the Whiskey, been performing way better than the Golf, even though we have the same engines. Increased aerodynamic efficiency in that aspect with the whiteboard blades. We got the anhedral droop on the tip caps. So all these things that we can use to our advantage, really, to you know be in the modern fight. The weapon system has changed. Uh, same caliber weapon system. Uh, we went from the GAU-18, which is the traditional M2 variant you'll see on, like, on um, M1 Abrams tanks or even World War II fighters, to we moved to the GAU-21 50 caliber. It's fired from the open bolt and fires twice the fire rate. And then our GAL-2 minigun, same design. Uh, the, the Golf went from a, you had a variable 2,000 round and a 4,000 round trigger uh, system, and now we're just at a fixed rate 3,000 round. Um, so roughly the same, same weapon systems, just some slight variants. It's funny you ask, because uh, I was a Golf flyer before I came here, and then I transitioned to the Whiskey. And in the Golf, it was you, your radios, and your uh, menu that you wrote stuff on, and that was it. And it was, it was crazy to me, uh, growing up in the community, learning that that was, that was it. It was, you know, four people in an aircraft talking to each other, running the whole mission at 50 feet at night behind it. You know, that's, that's a crazy concept. Uh, but with the Whiskey, we have a lot more potential for that to be streamlined as far as Link 16. Uh, some, not all, I think Saddle's going away off the first few tails, but Link gives us a big capability to understand it. And, there are, like from the test side, programs we're working with. Uh, DARPA has a specific AI that is going to work, hopefully, as a comm management type of node, right? So each node has a specific priority, and it can push different data to different nodes as the priority changes and the mission changes. But that's all very, very soft and loose and out, out in the ether right now. The H-60 Whiskey is supposed to be an aircraft that can do it anything. It can go into the peer environment, it can go into the uh, the Afghanistan environment. It can do all of those things. But in terms of which upgrades we're prioritizing right now, uh, we're looking more at things that are going to help 
in the Indo-Pacific region rather than in the counterterrorism uh, operation. You know, we were going from an AO where you were worried about RPGs, small arms, things like that. I would say less lethal threats out to the Indo-PACOM where, you know, we're, I'm actually concerned now about getting shot down by an adversary aircraft, which hasn't been something I've had to worry about for effectively the entirety of my career, right? So there's a reason why we're doing it, and that makes the pivot, you know, a lot more um, prescient and relevant for us to make. So, you know, the pacing challenge out in Indo-PACOM, uh, I do think the whiskey gives us uh, some fairly significant survivability gains out there. Uh, it's difficult to go into exactly how a lot of those manifest because a lot of that's kind of in the classified realm. But yes, I would say this aircraft coupled with some of the new tactics we're developing, some as being part of this aircraft, some you know could be executed with the G, but the new tactics with the new aircraft is, in my opinion, making us quite a bit more survivable out there in that theater.